to Whistler. I am here with Laura. Hello. The squad is back together again for another day of adventure. And today we are doing a major, major bucket list item for me. And that is visiting Keyhole Hot Springs, my Patreon members only community. Voted that I go and visit them today. So that is what we're doing. If you want to become a member on my Patreon, it's basically the place where I post extra videos, photos, behind the scenes content, uh, the stuff that doesn't make it to YouTube, real time updates, etc. And my patrons are able to vote on what I do in my videos. Laura and I need to get driving. We have quite a big drive ahead of us. Let's get our butts up to Pemberton and then to the hot springs. And we've been on this forest service road for like 40 minutes now. And we hope that we are, oh my God, you guys, you've got to, can you see out the window? It's like the water splashing We're up. going through a river. Yeah. <laughs> and it says only 10 more minutes until we are apparently at the trailhead for the hot spring. Okay, so remember how I said there was three minutes left on the GPS? Well, we've been driving for, I don't know, half an hour now. Yeah. GPS has ended and said we're already supposed to be at the trailhead. It's also to be noted that we are completely out of the surface zone right now. We're way the heck out here now. I was not expecting that this was gonna be this far, so yeah. Oh my God, yes. Did you guys see that sign there? It's kind of far away, but it says Keyhole Hot Springs, 1.5 kilometers ahead, and we have to go up that trail there. So if you're coming here and you think like you've gone too far, you have not, and there's actually little like signs on the trees that say like 31, 32, and those are the kilometers out that you've gone on this service road. So you should get to about 40 kilometers on the yellow signs, and that's about where the Keyhole drive off is. So yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I was I'm worried for a minute. Amazed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were a little stressed. We were like, everything's fine, but like, a little stressed. But we're here. We're good. Just got to go up this one last road. And there's a super clear sign once you get here that says Keyhole Hot Springs Trail Ahead. So you're going to know when you get here, there's going to be no like question about it. And there's a very clear parking lot as well. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get hiking. I'm so excited. I was so worried we weren't going to find this place. And I feel so, so happy now that we're finally here. So let's go, guys. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! It's amazing! Also, we brought umbrellas uh, to put our cameras under <laughs> when we get there. So, yeah. Shooting in the rain! This is what the vlog has come to in 2020. <laughs> further than anticipated. I think it's about 45 minutes total, but because it's in the snow, it's just like very challenging. We've just come to this area where can you see, where is it there? Yeah, right behind me, there's like a little ladder down to the river. Another, you have to crawl across that and then across that. Woo! Holy shit. High five. <laughs> There's three different hot springs here. So I think it is long overdue that we actually put on our swimsuits and get in those freaking hot springs. Look at how cool that is, guys. I never imagined that I would be somewhere like this. <sighs> no matter what the weather, you need to get out there and play because this is just, this is incredible, guys. I'm so, so happy. Well worth the battle it was to get here, for sure. We have 
just finished in the hot springs and that was honestly so so incredible i feel like i could stay in there forever but it is getting dark and it is starting to snow now and we don't have snow tires on our car which was not the smartest thing ever so if you come here definitely need snow tires to visit keyhole hot springs but what a beautiful beautiful experience if you want the place to yourself come early in the morning because it does take longer to get here than you expect and there really is only one pool that's like an appropriate temperature to <laughs> sit in the first two are way too hot i got in the second one and like i think i scalded my feet <laughs> which is not ideal so we're gonna see how that goes but yeah laura and i were just like all ready laura's dying <laughs> laura's, laura left her pants in the rain which is Brutal. Anyways, Laura and I are gonna drive back to Pemberton right now and go get some food because we are hungry. We have made it safe and sound back to Pemberton. We are at my favorite restaurant in Pemberton called Mile One. I've come here quite a few times before and they have really good burgers. They have like mac and cheese and stuff like that. So we're just waiting for our food right now. We really have not eaten since breakfast, aside from the almonds that we had in the car. So you girl can't think and needs to eat. So let's get her. Laura's grilled cheese. Holy oh, crap. I was I, expecting such a feast. I know. Like if I knew the grilled cheese looked like that, I probably would have ordered that. I'm like so excited right now. <laughs> I know. I no After our like strenuous journey. Today was a lot. So I'm gonna dig in. I got a veggie burger with some mushrooms and cheese and a pickle. And I also got a mac and cheese to go for Evan, who is waiting at home in Whistler. I don't think I actually told you guys this, but I am now living in Whistler kind of full time. So you can expect to see a lot more videos coming from Whistler. Bye, thank you. And we are off. Hand sandy round <laughs> We got our dessert. <laughs> got our dessert, our mixed nuts. I actually am very excited about these now. Before I was not, because they were kind of making me feel sick, but now I'm very, very excited. All right, back to Whistler we go. How do I start the car? Uh, I need to be on the... the yeah. <laughs> Laura and I are back to our usual shit where we listen to murder podcasts on long, scary car rides, so... Yeah, on a road that looks like you could be murdered, so it's like... Very, like <laughs> very plausible. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get back to that and we will see you at home. Bye. Today was honestly all freaking time. That was so epic and I've wanted to go to Keyhole for pretty much like forever now uh, because I have a lot of friends who grew up in Whistler and they have been going for many years and it just was so insanely beautiful. But I have to say, Laura and I, I feel like we kind of got away with our lives today. Like we were very unprepared for the level of adventure that today was. First off, car wise, uh, definitely have snow tires and a four wheel drive and a car with high suspension because you are way out there. There is no cell service for like at least two hours of driving on a forest service road and also just pack like you're actually gonna be going camping because you never know what could happen. We had no food with us and we had like a couple of beers <laughs> and that was it, like priorities. Yeah, I just, I feel I feel the need to give you guys like a full perspective of like what you need to be prepared <laughs> to do that adventure because we were definitely not prepared. I just read the information that was on all trails and it was like, yeah, pretty easy two kilometer hike, blah, blah, blah. That would be the case if it was sunny and there was no snow. But when there's snow, it's a totally different ball game. So I didn't feel that the websites that I read fully prepared me <laughs> for what today was. But again, it was so awesome. And I'm like kind of an adrenaline junkie. So I love it when I'm just like out there adventuring and exploring, but I would have liked to have been a lot more prepared. I would have felt a lot better <laughs> if that was the case. So. Anyways, that's sort of like my final review of Keyhole Hot Springs. Make sure you check out Laura's channel and Laura's vlog from today as well below. Um, I've linked everything there. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, say hi in the comments, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Oh, hi. Hello. Okay, but you can't just keep walking by the camera and not be in the video with me. There you go. I'm ready to tap out this kid. No. We've come this far, we're seeing the hot spring. Whew, I got a P2. Deal. You love it when I'm filming, but you can't. He loves it. It seems like you want something. Yeah, like, what, what do you need? Oh, he needs Papa. 
Oh yeah, it's just warning about landslides. That's cool. Apparently there's a lot of landslides in the area. Wish us luck. 